is John Ward, welcoming you to another presentation of Tennessee football on home video. The story you're about to see unfold is one of adventure and achievement. It's the story of teamwork, commitment, and the will to win. Welcome back to the Blue Chip Breakdown, Vols fans. Today we're looking at Tyree Weathersby, 6'4". He's listed at 251, but he's now 260. He is a four-star defensive lineman. Not quite sure where he's going to play on the defensive line. He could play three or he could play end. Um, scroll through his profile here. So you can see that here in this section, it's showing that his team didn't win any games. So, you know, for him to be able to put up the, the numbers and things like that that he did on a team that didn't win any games really speaks volumes. We're going to go ahead and get straight into his film. We're looking at his senior season film. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so this is him playing the end. First off, you can see that burst off of the football. Watch his first step quick off the ball. Does a good job of working through the gap and making a bone crushing hit. He's playing in right here at the bottom. Right there, the ball kind of falls into his lap, but you see the way that, you know, pretty much like on that first play that we just watched, the way that he's able to get through the gap quickly. All right, so we're gonna watch that one one more time. You see, he gets off the ball quick, does a good job of getting his body square, picks that football up, and he's got a lot of speed. Look at how good he looks running. As he's running through, you can see it again here. Great job of closing on the quarterback. Nice tackle. Look at that speed. I mean, he's a, I mean, just moves really, really well for his size. See him here again, great burst off of the football. Good job getting through this gap. This is something that Coach G loves is guys that are quick off of the football. He plays with a really high motor. Look, does a great job of getting skinny and just goes right through this, I think, guard that's trying to pull and, and hit him. Yeah, I mean, that actually that guard was there. That tackle was going to the, to the other side of the field. That's a great job. Here he is at the bottom of the screen playing end. Nice job on the stunt. Again, look at that closing speed. Slings the quarterback down. Let's see it again here. Looks really good in that stunt. I mean, he's running past. That was a running back and that was a guard that didn't like that one of any parts of him. Woo, my goodness. <laughs> he just threw that. Watch this again. So. Great burst off the football. I mean, just engages and disengages and throws. That's a big old boy too. Throws him down to the ground like it ain't nothing. That's that's awesome work. It's got that nasty streak. It's really strong. Look at that. Uh, really, really strong. I think you know this is a guy that he's he's going to be really high level. Whether it is playing three or playing in. Great burst off of the ball. Swim move is excellent. Gets in the backfield quick. Boom off the ball. Great swim move. Excellent tackle. Makes a play about a yard in the backfield. Right there is playing three. Great job of getting skinny, penetrating the gap. See again here, quick off the ball, gets skinny. Uh, great job of using his hands, not getting pushed around. Absolute dog, ugh. This is just mean, nasty, vicious. Right here, he's playing, that's basically, he's playing like four right there. Um, again, you know, you can see he does a really great job of penetrating gaps right there. Does a good job of taking on a block, holding on to his gap, making a play in the backfield. Here he's playing more of a three. No one blocks him, but you know, he does a great job of being patient, getting through the gap, not falling over his feet. Really good balance. 
sometimes when you come through these holes and there's no one there, especially that uh, that tackle tried to chop him. I mean, he just made that look really, really easy. That's that's a it's not an easy play. Here he's playing more of an end. I mean, very easy pass rush move. Made that look great. Took on a double team. Obviously, he's fighting. Doesn't stop. Doesn't give up on the on the play. Continues to move forward and ends up making a play. So this is something that we're going to see throughout his film too. Is that I mean, he he really wants to make plays. Like I said, his team didn't win any games, and for him to be playing with this sort of effort, that speaks volumes about his character. And look at that closing speed. I mean, that's that's incredible. Let's let's watch it again. You're not going to be able to tell his speed too much from the slower motion, but. Look at, I mean, my gosh, dude, like this is not, this is not one of those films that's sped up either. He's got really good speed. Look at the burst off the ball. Again, great swim move. Gets to the quarterback quick. Off the ball. Oh, nice swim move. Comes to the inside. It's excellent work. Great job being patient. Nice little slap. Fights through a double team. Look, I mean, you just really can't block him. It doesn't matter how many bodies you're trying to throw at him. Here, he's out in the open field. He looks really good, Danny. He's got those long arms, too. He's fighting through this play. He's not stopping, doesn't give up, uses those long arms there. Hold, I mean, he brings that running back down with, with one arm. Fighting through blocks. Great, great angle right there. This is a really nice job of coming straight down the, uh, the line of scrimmage. Presses to the gap, disengages quick, comes straight down the line of scrimmage. This is exactly how it's taught. Gets there with a with a vicious hit. Same thing here. He's just, um, you know, he's, he's not giving up on any of these plays. Chasing that one down from the backside. Gets skinny, fights through the gap. Goes right through the tackle like he's not even there. Playing in here again. Great job of setting that edge there. Watch this. So he's going to set this edge. He's going to keep his up shoulder field up the field. He's going to keep it free. So look at that. He's able to stop this running back from crossing his face. That is beautiful work. Textbook. He's playing in here at the bottom. Jumps to the inside gap. Disengages quick with a nice spin move. Continues to fight down the field. And he's chasing a, a running back all the way down the field. So obviously he's got really good speed. I mean, look at that. There's no reason that you shouldn't be blocking him on every single play. Even though this play is designed to go to the other side of the field, he gets back there so quickly that, I mean, if you don't at least chip him, he's going <laughs> to he's gonna ruin every play. I mean, beautiful job of pressing and then pulling. Gets off the ball, uses his hands very well right here. He's going to press this tackle. Gets up, boom, press, pull, shrugs him down. Makes a makes a great tackle. Stops him right at the line of scrimmage. Nice job of showing that he can move well in the open field. I mean, he got through that hole really, really quickly. Makes a, makes a big time tackle for loss. So that is Tyree Weathersby. Like I said, I believe that he can play three or four and he's going to be really good at either one of them. So that's huge. I think that the main thing that this defense has been missing or that this defense has been looking for is more help at three. It looks like we've got a few guys who can help us with depth there. I think that Tyree, just based off of what they're going to want to do with him, if he ends up playing three, he is going to need to gain a little bit more weight, probably another 20 pounds before he can start playing. But ideally, you would like to see him be around 290-ish to be able to play at three. But if you, you know, if they want to put him in there at end, he can start playing there right now. So I think that he's going to get a good amount of playing time in his first season on campus. And obviously moving forward, he's going to be an absolute force. He looks really, really, really good. This is another guy that I think he could have easily been rated as a five-star based off of his senior film. Now, his junior film maybe didn't show as much of what we saw on his senior film so that could be part of the reason that they didn't boost him all the way up to that five star but as far as i'm concerned that's what a five star defensive lineman 
looks like. So thank y'all as always for tuning into this video. Please make sure to like, to hit that bell, and I will catch y'all on the next video. Peace.